Da -da. <laughs> oh, this is insane. Okay. You're going to have to talk me through this, Candy. You're a bit of a strap man. This is uh, one of my relic guitars, but they call it the Voodoo model with the reverse oh, headstock. That what and that it's is? A, the right so, handed guitar. So, when did this Voodoo model come out then? Oh, a long time ago. That's the kind of like back, back plays uh, Voodoo quite a bit in his later years. In his earlier years, he played, you know, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, these, these, these are, are gorgeous. I've wanted one of these for ages, a gold guitar. Oh, no, this is a, a relic one. It's so This is nice. only a couple of years old. Is it? Yeah. Did you have I that? got this for um, the, the uh, stadium tour. Oh, did actually. you want the, the, the last one that you've just done? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, this one, this one right here was on the last tour. Oh, nice. The old. Purple People Leaders. <laughs> yeah. And this is a Floyd Rose, isn't it? Yeah. I've never played a Floyd Rose before. Go ahead. Do you have to maybe <laughs> show me how to do it? And that was one of my, uh, I played this on the tour, but that one's from 96, I think. I recognize that one. This one. You recognize Isabella. Yeah. Well, this one was the first prototype that I built <laughs> in my kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, they gave me, uh, because I always like 63 strings. Yeah. This is a 64 with a 65 body. The, the knobs didn't work. And the guy told me, yeah, that's a 63 when I was naive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and I just got and go to my son. I go, let's cut it up, put a humbucker in it. And it was already beat up like this. So. Wow. One of the... Um, I forgot his name, Sean or something. Hmm. He used to work at, at Bender. And so he built me a couple of, you know, relics like this. Yeah. Isabella is one of them. Oh, is this Isabella? Is this what you call her? Mm-hmm. I didn't realize you had names for your guitars. <laughs> Not all. Not all, just, just Isabella. She's special. Isabella is the, the twin guitar. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe I'll oh, like... this. I love it though. That's how it, it is, should be, and I love this bit especially. It used to be um, pimp. Yeah, I'm, You're the, I'm pimp. the pimp. I'm Mars man. I'm, I'm all sorts of things. <laughs> You're a. But yeah, that that guitar <clears throat> has been beat. Uh, I've thrown it off stage at my guitar tech and all sorts of stuff. That's why this yeah pick guard's on. It used to be tortoise shell. Oh, but you the, changed it to the, the green. Yeah, because I shattered it. And it was cracked in here and all sorts of stuff. So is this an original 63 then? Um, 60... No, no. This this is a, um, a, a knockoff of that. Of that one. Okay, yeah. so the one... So it's like this one is... That's... Was I got in 96. Because okay. the, the, the guy that saw this... Made and you that. That one. Like you say, that was the prototype. This is your Frankenstrat. That one. <laughs> yeah, that one is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your very this own. This one came along. And Isabel. This, it doesn't, this guitar doesn't sound like any of these. It's, it's got a it's got really the unique there. sound. Yeah. No, no, I, I don't know what it is, but it's like, I get, you know, right when I first got it, it was like, <clears throat> oh my God, it sounded so good. The tone. Yeah. I'm a tone. You're a tone man. Crazy guy, even though I'm half deaf now. But <laughs> but no, tone matters to me a lot. So why the why what made you use the Floyd Rose and um, the D and the D the D tuning as well? Oh well, wanna... see, it's kind of like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's going around like any and stuff. People like Robert Fripp. Yeah. Right from King Crimson. Yeah would just drop his E to a D. Yeah. He played it like that for years. And Shall I well, let's do the whole guitar. All <laughs> right. Oops, sorry. You want to sit on that one? No, no, no. Um, so let's... Um, I'll sit in the throne. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so it's like we were rehearsing one day. And I go, 
okay, that's good. We were playing live wire. And I go, okay, that's cool. Let's drop this, the tuning down. Yeah. And we were the, like, when, I mean, people like Ben Hain, and I've known those guys for ever. Yeah, I can imagine. And, yeah. And uh, we played clubs together. Anyway, Ed would tune his guitar to E flat. Jamie Hendrix did too. Mm -hmm. And I go, let's go down. So that was it. And then it kind of like was the sound of Molly. It was a bit thicker. 100%. Than it gets it back. What was going on in Hollywood at the time. But it also had to be tone wise too. That's something I learned from Jeff Beck. So I kind of like, you know, worked on my tone a lot more than I would work on my shred. Yes. That's what made you Motley, you know. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's funny that you choose a Strat as well, because obviously, like you say, Jeff used one. And he's, I read something with Jeff where he said that he, you know, because he played a Les Paul in the early days and he loved it. Yeah. But it, a Les Paul is, you have to work it. Like you have to work hard with the Les. Whereas with yeah. the Strat, it kind of felt more like an extension of him. Mm -hmm. It was something that he could just... That's exactly It became he... part of a body part. That's how Isabel is. <laughs> Isabel, I love her. Yeah. She's your identical oh, I got, twin. I got a guitar to show you. You can film my back like this and say, hey, it's Mars. <laughs> <laughs> this guitar right here. Okay, that looks like a Les Paul. It is. It's a 1960 Les Paul. Oh my goodness. Thank you. It cost me a quarter of a million of lips. That's what you're holding in your hands. I'll try not to drop it. <laughs> I think this so, goes yeah. well with my outfit. If I see, can you? This is this. They're heavy, aren't they? Oh yeah, pounds. yeah. They're like you know between eight and nine pounds. I think in the older days they might have been a little heavier. Like this one is the first year of the. It'll be um. This is a 50, oh, that's gorgeous. 50, Two or four, one of those. Um, so that's really that's super early then. And yes, and I believe from the papers I got this belonged to Neil Young. Okay. And I got it from and um, from. Uh, I love it rooms. with the, I love it with the Bixby on it. I don't like Bixby. You don't like them. No. They. I think they look nice. I like so the the solid. On Les Pauls, I like the solid. Anchor, like yeah, that, because they resonate better. Okay, that's interesting. And that's like a, a lot to do with. I don't know. It's set up for, for a guitar. I have to set up for me, you know. Yeah. And so I go like, and it's like, what can I do to make this better? Remove that, mm -hmm. but stuff. But then the value of the guitar goes goes down. So you've got to keep it. This is more like I like, but again. These, I would crank down, but, you know, no. Not no, you're not going to do it. You're not going to yeah. touch it. No, I can't but do I do that. love that. So when did you get this one? I got that maybe 10 years ago or something. Okay. Let and me go. I'll, up. I'll go and pop it back for you if you want. Okay. I just want to hold it a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I mean, what's the ultimate guitar that you would want? Or have you got it already? I think uh, every, everybody likes the... Uh, 60, 1969 Stratocasters, because, you know, I have three of them in three different colors. What colors and do you have? I have candy red, a burst, and a white. Okay. Cream color, like candy red. Yeah. What makes you happy? <laughs> we are surrounded. <laughs> Check out the full interview and a load more on Access TV.